Element, young man. It's only that Colin. That Colin, Jeffrey. I had my push voice on there, did you notice? Anyway, I'm talking my normal uh, smoggy now. I'm in a trade here, as you can see. It's a Canadian Japanese. It's in a five minute time frame. And where I've gone off, young man, is obviously your price action. And I'm hoping that I've done it right. Obviously, what I've got here is what I'm calling my mother bars for the turn to go up. Because I've also got the the three hits on the bottom here, refusing to go below this particular pivot, which is a trader's pivot. Um, as you can see, um, it came back, rescinded on itself, and it's gone back now. Class needs is my new mother bars. And of course, this is where I've got a little bit of consolidation, as you can see here. And of course, the order was there on that particular line to break out. It has broke out, it's just broke out now. But it's price action, I've tried to take as much noise as away from it as I can. Um, this is a, a live trade as it is now. So there's an order on, but obviously it's a practice, so there's no real money involved. And what I'm trying to do is build up a bit of confidence with myself as well, to make sure I'm one, I have noticed that there is some price action here and we are obviously going in the right direction. So, but you just very far, if you don't mind. Um, obviously, this particular line here is just my trader's line because I wanted to make sure, yes, that I have done the right thing, that my order is right. And it seemed to follow that pattern, if you notice here, that was already in as well. And this particular lines here was to look for that consolidation to see if it would break out there and it has so it's broke out of the big box it's broke out the little box here and she's broken away it's just after nine in the morning so the bankers are involved in here and that yellow spot by the way is just that something that i put in before and say right there's my trade space because my trade space could have been down here to be truthful but that was my nudge these little three touches here, which said I'm not going to go any further down. And then obviously I watched for this particular mother bar. Am I correct in saying this is a mother bar, young man? And obviously we had the second one and the third one. And we did obviously come back a little bit. And then I took off from here. So all I want to do, young man, all I want to ask is, have I followed the right procedures? Am I on the, am I on the right track? Tell me I'm on a confidence booster. And if this goes against me <laughs> i'll let you know as well okay thank you very much for putting your little bit of time and about three minutes or more to watch this for me but obviously what i'm wanting to ask again i'm going to ask and is it have i got these mother bars right could you point something out to me um because i just don't want to look at this and say well i've got it right and leave it at that because quite fortunate with doing the videos i do um keep these videos as a um as a video journal basically and I have a little folder in my, in my hard drive for that and when I've gone wrong I can go over and try to find out why I've gone wrong and sometimes I suss it out but the, yeah what I'm after young man if you don't mind is just a confidence boost to say yes you've done it wrong again Colin <laughs> okay young man much your gracias I'm giving myself a uh, bit of a confidence booster here, so I'm quite happy. I know I should keep the emotions out of it, but the whole idea of the second part um, element is obviously, yes, a bit of noise and me pivots. This is where the original five minutes wouldn't bounce through here. Obviously, you can see there's a pivot underneath. So I've got my stop loss just underneath them three rather than pulling it just under the the um, support itself. And um, maybe for safeness I should put it under the support, which is roughly where that is now, which is 94.400, say. I should have, but um, I haven't. I've got it at 94.570, isn't it? Is it 570? Uh, sorry, 420, 94, 420. I've got my support, which is below these, 
which was the originally where the it was going to come down which is 84.34 now what i've done here you can see where I've, as you know i entered the trade there um i've got that little bit of more noise on now um because i do want to be noise and it's for my own purpose if you have a look down the bottom here i am here just here see it that's the volume i, I like volume i can see that the volumes broke into the macd here because of the volume there it broke here which is this red pivot the red pivot is the daily pivot point so it's broke through there that's what i like to see and it stayed as you can see it stayed on the, the pivot point and broke off and that's what we were watching for well in that particular last first clip we weren't watching for that because it was set up with very little um noise in the background but now i've got my noise on i can see um where i'm going if you understand i can see the trade's doing quite well i'm going to this target point which is 74.770 and that's a clean round 20 pips um 20 pips seems to be the average doesn't it on a on a snipe trade oh, i know if people do look for 10 or five or even three but i can't work in a one minute time frame oh, God, oh my. Um, i will get there i know i will um but all i'm saying is young man this is where i'm going to oh that's where i'm expecting to go to have i been over adventurous am i doing the right thing i honestly can see by the noise that i have one like i say again i'll go to the volume because i like volume I like the MACD, the MACD is a beautiful little tool. So that's one I can't really throw away, same as the volume. I like to see that there is some volume there, and especially more so because I'm working with the type, smaller time frames now. Um, I don't often work with the smaller time frames, and I have buggered up in the past. I've, got, I've gambled, shall we say, but um, a little bit of noise here tells me because of the volume, MACD's turned here. But more so how this has popped up off the 50 EMA, exponential EMA, sorry, not the normal smooth, but it's exponential. As you can see, it's bounced off there, gone through the, the daily pivot point, which is good for me. It's consolidated itself there, and as you can see where I went in there, it took off. So everything seems to be right. I've got my confidence back, and... What I want to do, obviously, is work off the price pattern. Oh, as you say, is the best way to go. So I'm going to love you and leave you for now. If that doesn't reach that target, I will let you know. Okay, young man. Thank you very much for your time. Hello, Element. Back into the third clip. The idea of this third clip is we're back onto the same chart what we were, what we originally started on, with is the least noise what I can put on. Um, with having that least noise, I still have to have my trader pivots. My trader pivots are very important to me. Um, as you can see here, it's in the five minute line and we've been consolidating a little bit. So I'm actually watching this to keep uh, obviously above that on the next 10 minutes it's just turned 10 o'clock so we are above there now so as far as you can see so what will happen is well, i'm hoping that that obviously now becomes its support rather than its resistance and that's what it's all about um it's a practice trade it's away from a parry which is a shame because it doesn't um register as being one of my one of my wins if it does come off but I'm, all, I'm over the moon with my training today and it's going to look good this in my um, video journal because I've done something right I can see that and that's why I've come back over onto this particular clip to explain to you my trader pivots to myself are very important to me okay young man see you in the next clip ta -ra for the new Now that we're into the fourth clip, 
as you can see that's where that particular pivots came from on that last clip which is actually resistance on the daily pivots anyway which you can get up on the software so what i'm going to do young man i'm just gonna lock in a bit of profit because the last time it made any big move was down the way so i'm just gonna move it up to there and then we'll move on okay thank you very much And in this clip, this is the emotional part. This is the bit what you have to keep your inner strength. Is that correct? I would say so, yes. We're going into 10 past 10 UK time. As you can see, young man, these trader pivots on this particular chart are or should be supporting this we're a long way off the target yet a long way off so i'm just going to wait for this minute to turn young man and see how it goes from here again we're going at this particular spot here when i first noticed the price action this is the part that i want to get right not this i can see that it's going in the direction i want it to I want to get the starting block correct. So, element young man, getting that starting block correct. Have I taken everything into consideration here because of these mother candles? Because it has come away that twice. Because it has stuck around here. Because of obviously if I have, and you can verify that for me. Um, it's something I can cut and put into my. Um, video journal once more and say yeah this was a good learning curve take note from what happened here because obviously yes these won't this doesn't happen all the time but the point is what they do say if it's going to break through the pivot gives it three three attempts it did give it that third attempt and it decided to say no so i looked at this one here as being the mother candle which yes i've got here the log exhaustion coming up which comes in with this automatically with the software what i put in with this and we've taken it away so obviously i could have gone into the trade there but that was gambling in my eyes that was too early i needed that confirmation i watched over for a little bit i admittedly he stuck to the computer for a while but once i start which i am at the moment only working with pennies even though it's on a, an account away from a party, I'm still only working in my pennies. Um, I will, once I've got great confidence in what I'm doing here, and I will move on from here, I can start using the dollars, or as we say over in England, our pounds. So there you go. Okay. Just showing you my emotions. That's all it's all about. Trying to keep happy. But it's sad at the same now. Okay. This is <coughs> hopefully the last clip. Because um, what I'm looking at now is it's moving on up there quite, quite good. As we would say where I live. It's doing canny. No. To the Scots, canny is not good. And yet, we're only 100 less than good, 80 miles down the road from the border. And we, the smoggies, and people from my part of the world, look as canny as being good. So there you go. So it's looking canny at the moment. Everything's looking good. Is that emotional? Yes, it probably is. <laughs> anyway, it looks like this is coming to its end. Or will it come to its end? Will it will it drop off? I'm not sure. But what I want to look at as well, I mean, I've got these Apari um, times bits and pieces up the top here. And I actually like them because they do, they do help 
what it's not showing at the moment is the colors so i'm just going to check this over time frames edit it um ah that's why i've got it on black <laughs> that's why there we go i think it's quite good actually this because obviously what i can see here is weekly it's an upward trend daily it's an upward trend four hourly it's an upward trend one hourly it's an upward trend and so on and so on and so on right way down with the minutes so this is actually good for me and that's what i like about all this here because i try to keep away from the noise but i do like stuff we'll say you call this will help you and it's just a matter of looking up to the left hand corner and i can see that in all the time frames it's a big help for me because i am in the smallest or one of the smallest time frame which is five minutes and this is where i obviously have, have needed that confidence booster as you all know i've left comments in the um, forum saying this and that the other and how i tend to get dizzy when i'm doing the smaller time frames because i came into trading in the rem doing the daily time frames and in one particular strategy as you all know it's the famous five my man alive and my famous four get on that floor <laughs> never mind so is this going to bounce away from here and do i snap us out of it or is it going to take us take it above there this is the scary point this is where the emotionals could could take the best of you yes or no anyway either way i'm looking for it to go to or is it 94 570 isn't it is it 94 five? no i'm sorry 95 770 sorry 770 so there we go i'm going to love you and leave you for now because i've been sat with this for just over an hour and hopefully the the video is not that long for you as all well, and you haven't had to sit through it as an hour like i have but it's been a good learning curve like i've said and verification of yourselves especially yourself elemental just to make sure i've done the right thing okie dokie thank you very much element this could be the last clip um i know it came back a bit this is in the minute time frame and i've up, brought my stop loss up a little bit minute time frame obviously is telling me that it's going down i've never there you at it's gone so it was my stop loss what took me out it didn't reach the target i was expecting to get for the 20 points 20 pips so i've got round about 15 14 pips of that particular um trade i'm still happy with the way things have gone because what i've done is i've covered myself and i've kept most of the money obviously on most of the pips well this minute time frame obviously when i went into it can you tell me obviously i've moved a stop loss down and it's been tripped out but is there a telltale sign in there where i could have possibly taken a few more pips by by triggering myself out of it rather than put the stop loss to do the job i mean i put the stop loss round about here because it, that looked like a a bit of a old and block for it but it's the one minute time frame i'm not sure the one minute time frame works i mean i have got red on my bias bar here and i am below the zero point on my oscillator so hmm. so there you go now as this is going back up in this one minute time frame i am now going to switch off and say lesson learned explain to me what you can young man if you don't mind especially more so this minute because they reckon obviously if you can crack the minute time frame you can crack them all and that one looks hard but what i noticed is like i say i put my stop loss on just underneath there and it did trip me but quite fortunate enough most of my money pops pips was in the pot okay thank you very much for your time and looking this over mucho gracias